So now I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do if you have a fluted complete triangle. So as you can see, this here is angled. It's not 90 degrees. If it was 90 degrees, it would look like obviously like this, and that would mean that it's notched. This is not, this is angled. That means it's fluted, okay? If we look here, we know that these measurements are 13. This is 13, this is 13, this is 13. If we take our six over here, so that means the center point three up, three, uh, three down, and we take these lines across, they will line up perfectly right there. This will line up perfectly with this end right here, with this top of the triangle, okay? So I'll show you that really quick. So if we do three mils above, one, two, three, and we draw this line across, right, we're eyeballing it, making sure it's perfect, then we're sliding it across. This would be the line that we would make right here if on this side we had three mils and we drew those lines across, okay? So I'm just gonna show you on this really quick. Three mils above, made our line, drew our line across on one side, flipped it around, drew our line across on the other side, so that's this line right here. And then we connected it, right there. That is this line. This line is this line. Okay, so we have a center line here and that's already in the soap, right? That was already there. That's from connecting the two halves together to make this soap. We're gonna take this, we're gonna complete the triangle by adding line here, by adding a line there, and complete the triangle by adding a line here. Okay, so now we have the same triangle as here. Same thing. The only difference is with this one, this lavender colored one, it's not a complete triangle and it's notched. It's not fluted. This one is a complete triangle and it's fluted. The measurements are the same for the lines. It's just the difference is cutting. So I'll show you how to do this one later, but we're just gonna make the lines for this one right now for this full triangle fluted. This is eight mils. It's important to realize that. It'll usually be 10 or it'll be eight. So like, 10 or eight. Eight mils, let's take this and measure eight mils. Here's five, six, seven, eight. And wrap it around, remember pinch it tight, make sure it's flush all the way down. You don't want any overlap or else your circle's gonna be a bit off. Right over top, make sure your pencil's sharp. Going all the way around, wrapping around like that. Good. Now this distance is eight mils. Let's just double check, perfect. Okay. We have our quadrant set with a line here a line here, you can't really see this line very well, but this line was already set by the soap. It's easier to see in the lavender soaps, but there's that line. Line here, line here. In order to, in order to um, make your flute properly for this triangle, you need to find the halfway point between here and here and here and here. The halfway point between here and here is already set by this line. The halfway point between here and here is not, the halfway point between here and here is not, okay? So what I do, I mean, you can measure it, and it turns out, you know, it's obviously, it's gonna be 13. So if you wanted to, you can just take your measurement, and 
you go to six and a half. So it's right there. You can also eyeball it. I mean, it's probably, you're probably gonna get pretty good at this to eyeball it. You're gonna go across like that, okay? And this doesn't have to be like down to the, you know, one-tenth of a millimeter, but it should be pretty close. And then let's go six and a half on this side too. Just like that, okay? Good. So let's look at this top piece, right? You wanna take the edge of the triangle here, put your blade to it, and you're gonna roll your blade to the center piece again, just like that. See what I did there? Just like within the previous video, you roll your blade to the center. Now let's do the other side. You go into the end here, here's the triangle, here's the line that we made, right, right there. Here's the end of that line. This is just for one of the sides. You're gonna roll it up. So what do you have? You have a guideline for your flute now. Okay. Guideline for your flute. I have to do that two more times. And this time you're going to the lines that you made. That's your centerpiece. You don't have a made line already. This line was made because we made the quadrants. This line was made because we just did those measurements. So you're going again to that line from the middle to that line. And one more time, line, line. Now let's look around. Triangle, guidelines for the flute. All right, and that's what I wanted to show you guys here.